Hey filmmaker Shongdi here. In this video, we're releasing the anamorphic lens flare. So here we go. And that was it. It contains actually out of two different layers. So first is the lens streak and the other is the lens flare. And also the presets is the lens flare and the lens streak so you can use them separately and they have an effect already built in with the movement however you can change the movement yourself with the lens flare you have to change it with the flare center so you change this positioning and with the lens streak you actually change the positioning of the motion so to actually get this preset, you have to go to the description below. There will be a link to my website. And then you will land on this page. This is the most important part. The download link is hidden behind this uh, social locker. So if you already uh, subscribed and like, please tweet, share, make sure uh, other people get to know about this free preset that you can get for your Premiere Pro and improve your videos. And uh, if you really, really like the stuff that I do, you can also press this button here below. So once you have downloaded it, uh, unzip the file and then go here to the effects tab and then the preset bin and right mouse on it and then choose import preset. Then we'll be in the folder CD anamorphic flare. So to actually use it, uh, you have to make black video. That is either right mouse and then choose black video or here below the new icon and then black video. Then you just drag it in. Let's remove these. And we need two of them. And just drag and drop. So the presets already have an effect on it. To remove the effect, you can actually go into here and then click that. And also here. So now it doesn't move. The only thing is, um, yeah, it's uh, more advisable to use it on a, stat a static shot, so a shot that is uh, on a tripod instead of, um, yeah, trying to follow a certain light because that is quite hard because you actually have to move it by frame by frame so that the light, uh, yeah, the lens flare or the streak is kind of moving with the movement the camera is moving so you can actually use the both of the effect actually separate from each other but um, yeah it's quite nice to have them actually do something in your shot to add something more like you could make maybe the light here in the background be much stronger so this one Yeah, and the easiest way is do it like this. Just press there, and then this thing will appear, so you can easily move the lens flare. And then the streak can go here, and then move this around, so it's about the same spot. So now that light actually has like a more anamorphic look to it. And if you want to animate it uh, a bit, you can uh, of course add keyframes to it. That was mainly it. Hopefully you guys like this video and please give me a thumbs up. If you want to see more upcoming videos, please subscribe. And if you have any questions, please comment below and I'll see you the next time. Bye bye.